age group at the moment and then in September I'm going to be going up to the under 13s which is then bigger goals and bigger pitches. So we are going to invest in buying a full sized bigger goal and we're going to be doing that through Networld Sports or, or Forza and we've had their goals in footballs in the past and the goals are really good, really good quality, everything like that. So we're going to be using them again to buy the bigger goal. We've already got the mini target goal. Um, we've got the plastic 12 by six goal. And we've also got the 16 by seven goal, uh, but that one was metal. So we're looking for the 24 by eight metal goal. They do freestanding ones and also one with wheels. It's more money for the one with wheels rather than the freestanding one, but we are going to get the one with wheels because we need to move it around the garden quite a lot um, because we, the patch of grass that we always work on is very, very boggy now. So by having the wheels, we can then move it around so much easier. We move the one that we've got now around quite a lot as well, uh, but for the bigger size, it's going to be impossible if it doesn't have wheels. This is one we're looking at at the moment. We're going to go with the single, we're going to go with the leather wheels, and we're going to go with without weights. Then you press add to basket, then go to basket, and there it is. The delivery says it should come within two to five working days, um, and then you press continue to check out. Hopefully we'll get it by sometime early next week. Once we've got the goal, I'll put a few clips in the vlog of what we're doing to transition me from the smaller size up to the bigger size. Once we've got this goal and we've assembled it, then we can do another goalie wars. Me in the 16 by 7 goal and my dad in the full size one. Click the like button if you want to see that. Fours do loads and loads more equipment. They do ladders, hurdles, footballs, cones. Make sure you go and check it out because we use all their stuff and it's so good. Stop! 63. 63, well done. <laughs> Hard work this pee at home. Yeah. <sighs> Last night when Willow was out, she's cut her ear. I don't know if you can see that on the top over there. If you look from underneath, which you might not be able to, she has like a, li and a little hole in it, in her ear. And it's so close, that bit, of, that chunk of her ear is so close to just like falling out because there's a tiny little bit attached. I think she's really tired. She's been out all night last night and I think she's been fighting. I think that's how she's hurt her ear. What does it look like? <laughs> it looks like a caterpillar curled up because you've got like the different segments. We just pulled this grape out of the um out of the box. That's weird. It's like it's literally three grapes stuck together. You got like the bottom one here, you got the squashed one in the middle, and you got the one on the end that's just so curved. That's so weird. I'm currently on my break making hot chocolate. What you gotta do when you have a break from school, always gotta make a little bit of hot chocolate. You were dancing a minute ago. <laughs> right, have you pressed the record button? Have you? Of course I have. That's what normally happens. He never presses record. I better check actually, hang on. <laughs> Yep. Okay. We're all right. We're good. We're good. So today's session, I'm 
somewhere in Calier uh, Flash, these ones are, the Powerlight Flash, nice black colourway, again, clever me, don't like cleaning them, so they stay clean nicely. I am wearing the Calier Track Zone Ultra Charge Pro Gloves, um, these have really, really good grip, and they have a black back hand, but a white palms, so they're probably going to get really dirty, but they'll probably clean them afterwards, so that's all fine. Yeah. <laughs> Um, today we are going to do a session on second saves. I saw this uh, on First Class Goalkeeping. If you go and check out his YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. He's massive on Facebook. Does loads of tips, uh, video drills, uh, he's an excellent coach. Go check him out. So this session took inspiration from what he did on second saves. Let's go. I'm more worn out than he is. Go. Touch.
<laughs> what are you doing right now, Hen? DT homework. Um, basically, we have to make something out of plastic that we would have um, put in a recycling bin, if not. So, we're basically making a pen holder. So, we've got a, um, just a, like a, um, squash bottle <laughs> that, we've, that we've used. I forgot what it was called. Um, cut the top off and then we're just sticking coloured bits of plastic all around it um, and hoping that it will look look alright. Probably not going to look good, but we're just hoping it's going to look alright. Okay, so guys, we're finished now and we have pretty much completely covered it um, in different colours of just recycling um, that we would have thrown away if not. We've covered the bottom, obviously we've covered all the way around on the sides and we sort of curved the, the ones at the top in a little bit um, and then put tape over them so it's like a smooth top. I think it looks pretty good considering we just use things that we would have thrown away if not. So I'm quite happy with it. Guys, once again, it's the weekend and it's snowing. This seems to be happening every single weekend. Saturday or Sunday means snow. It's crazy. There's not that much of it at the moment, but it seems quite powdery rather than last week. It was really icy. Um, it was hard to actually pick it up properly. We are gonna go out a little bit later and probably have a snowball fight real, really this time. Because last time it was not that great because it was, as I said, it, the snow was too icy really. You going down. You're gonna get snowballed in the face, so I don't know, I don't think you'll still be saying that when that happens. <laughs>